tools needed to build a two and a half gallon 10K accumulator. Okay, once you get the parts laid on the table, one of the first things you have to do is uh, loot up all the rings and then install them on the parts. Be sure and thoroughly uh, grease up every uh, T-seal and Teflon seal. Okay, once the O-rings uh, or uh, rings are uh, lubricated, you're going to uh, put on your T-seals. And we start with the bladder stem first. This is a G-seal for gas end. Make sure you do not get the T-seal twisted. And on each side of the T-seal, we apply one Teflon seal. One on each end of the T-seal. We're going to go to the next part. We're going to go to the uh, spacer. We're going to apply the T-seal. Make sure it's not twisted once again. And then take a Teflon seal and put it, put one on each side of the uh, T-seal. Lastly, we're going to apply the T-seal and Teflons to the oil port. After the T-seal goes the Teflon seal on each end. Okay, once uh, we've applied the uh, rings on the parts, we're going to add more lube and we're going to uh, make sure the entire ring is lubricated. Okay, once the uh, rings have been lubricated, you're going to go and now apply a small uh, amount of uh, lube to the inside of the extrusion ring on the rubber surface and a little bit on the metal surface. Right now we're applying lube to the face seal, which is your main seal. Now we're going to apply the lube to the inside of the spacer. And once that part is uh, lubricated, he's going to pre-fit the extrusion ring and the spacer on the oil port. This must be done prior to assembly. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pre-fit the extrusion ring onto the oil port. It has to slip past the O-rings. And then now we're going to put the spacer on and it's going to bottom out 
and we're going to let that set for at least five minutes to preform the seal on the oil okay, Prior to assembly, the shell must be thoroughly clean. We're going to use high pressure air to blow out the shell. Following blowing out the shell, please look inside and make sure there's no debris left. Okay, next step is make sure your shell is lubricated. Add enough, add enough lubricant to thoroughly saturate the shell. Next step, we're going to take the pull rod. We're going to attach it to the end of the bladder on the high pressure gas valve. Once tightened, take the pull rod, insert it inside the shell. Once the bladder's inside, inside the shell, take the pull rod, pull the stem through, take the pull rod off, take the jam nut, thread the jam nut all the way onto the stem. This should be done with your hand at first. In order to tighten it correctly, you need to use a backup wrench on the stem. Use your other wrench to tighten the jam nut. Tighten the jam nut thoroughly. Okay, back to the other end of the accumulator. Is we're going to go ahead and take the two pieces back off the oil port. We're going to take the oil port, we're going to put it inside the accumulator shell. Okay, gently lay the oil port. Push the oil port inside the shell, push down, and stop at this point. Next step, grab the anti-extrusion ring. Bend it, force it inside the shell, holding on to it. Lay it down in this position. Now take your hand, reach inside, pull the oil port back through the extrusion ring. At this point, stop, take a flashlight, make sure your seals are still intact, and down in the ring groove of the oil port. Now take your spacer, Insert onto the oil port, and the spacer has to fit inside the bore around the oil port. At this point, take the spacer, push inside the shell until it bottoms out, pull the oil port back through the spacer. Next step is grab the lock nut, insert it onto the oil port, thread it on as far as you can by hand. When it bottoms out, take your spanner wrench, tighten the lock nut down until it bottoms out against the spacer. As you can see, as you thread the lock nut on, the old port extends out more. Now with the spanner, take the lock nut back off. And once off the thread, now apply anti-seize to the oil port, re-thread lock nut back on, tighten, and the bottom end is complete.
securely tighten the uh, lock nut. After the bottom of the accumulator is built, go back to the gas end. Now we need to apply nitrogen into the bladder. Put a three-quarter wrench on the high-pressure gas valve. Be sure to use a backup wrench to hold the gas valve in place. Loosen the top end of the gas valve. Now apply nitrogen to the gas valve. Once the bladder is completely full of nitrogen, close the high pressure gas valve using your three quarter open end wrench. Snug. Take the nitrogen hose back off. Spray soapy water solution on the end of the gas valve. Make sure there are no leaks. If no leaks, apply your valve cap. Last step is to take uh, your protective cap, slide over the gas valve, right onto the stem of the bladder, snug up against your jam nut. This completes the assembly of a two and a half gallon 10K accumulator.